Okay, we're going to go back and review a little bit of deconstruction and then go into the ethics in a little bit more applied fashion um, so that you can finish up this week's test. The test will have already been emailed out to you. You have two questions, one dealing with deconstruction and then one dealing with um, doing an ethical breakdown, a categorical imperative, and a utilitarian breakdown of uh, one of the episodes for this week. So remember with deconstruction, I gave you three things to do in the framework. First of all is to identify the basic meaning of the episode. What was the meaning of the episode? Why did you watch it? What did the episode want you to walk away from saying, oh, that's what this meant? Or what was the moral of the story? Those are the things you kind of think of for the, the meaning. And then you start to find some binary opposites. And remember that binary opposites have to be a pair of binaries. So for example, hot and cold, those two words is one binary. Up and down is a second binary. Back and forth is a third binary. Um, inside, outside, it's a fourth binary. So every binary has to have two words attached to it and those two words have to have opposite meanings. Um, on the test, many people try to use people, um, saying the Doctor and River Song, for example. It's impossible to use people as a binary because none of us has an exact opposite. We, every single person is unique, so there is nothing that is the exact perfect opposite of another person. So people cannot be the binaries, only um, ideas of people, good and bad, good people, bad people, angels, demons, etc. But actual people um, cannot have binaries. And then you choose one of the binaries that you have come up with. So, um, you know, if I had decided young, old, black, white, tall, short, I may then decide with tall, short to go through and look at it a little bit more closely to find some internal conflict within that specific binary. And so for this one, I'm going to walk you through the impossible astronaut, um, which is one of the questions you did for the test. And I wrote this out on a lot of people's papers, but I wanted to walk you through it so you understand why I'm getting here with the meaning, the binary, the conflict. So within The Impossible Astronaut, there's a lot of different morals that you can take from it, but one of the main ones that I saw was that appearances can be deceiving because we have um, the doctor not quite being what we think, um, Amy not quite what she seems, everything's just a little bit off. So appearances can be deceiving is what I took from that. Some of the binaries, possible, impossible, younger, older, um, past, future, there's a lot of different binaries, but I decided to stick with possible, impossible, since it was in the name of the actual episode. And so what is possible about the episode? Everything. They're sitting on a lake shore, they've been summoned by a letter, um, they're having wine that was harvested by Napoleon or something, so there's you know, just the actual, you would just give examples of what they're doing and sitting and, you know, their existence for it being possible because they are there. Then you flip and say, well, why is it impossible? What are some of the things that are impossible about it? And this is where we see the conflict comes in. Because when you hear the word impossible, it means something that is not possible. So what is something that's impossible in the episode? We know that River Song is in the spacesuit but she is also on the lake shore and the doctor has told us many times that the same person even in different versions same person cannot be at the same place at the same time so river sit sitting on the lake shore drinking wine with the doctor amy and rory and river in the space suit can't be in the same place at the same time that's a paradox and so that is impossible and so that's then what we would talk about and bring more to the surface of this impossibility that's in there. And that impossibility is what gives us a little bit deeper meaning to look at that the appearances are deceiving. That we think, oh, it's an impossible astronaut. Oh, it's uh, 
moon landing, Apollo moon landing gear in the wrong time frame. Well, that's not what's impossible about it. What's impossible is the person inside is the same person who is on the beach. And you also then see that River gets it very quickly by the end of the ep um, by the end of the old, um, scene when she's shooting at the astronaut who's walking away, and she says, "Of course," because she's a crack shot, and every one of her bullets missed, and that is because time would not let her kill herself.